Hey everyone, welcome back to Financial Futures. I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. Today, we're diving into some trending news that's been making waves on Google, the rumor of an $8,700 stimulus check directly from the IRS. We'll explore who might be eligible if this rumor were true, plus we'll discuss a city that's rolling out monthly direct payments of around $500. But before we get into that, if you wouldn't mind helping me out real quickly by giving this video a like, it really helps with the good old YouTube algorithm. Also, consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Alright, so let's talk about this trending search on Google for an $8,700 stimulus check from the IRS. You can search by yourself about IRS $8,700 stimulus check rumor. Now, I haven't seen anything on the news about a new stimulus check, and there haven't been any new bills proposed. So, what exactly is going on with this $8,700 stimulus check? According to Snopes, in June 2024, Google users were searching for answers regarding a rumor that qualifying Americans would receive an $8,700 check. This rumor claimed that IRS.gov contained details about this new stimulus check legislation. However, this rumor is false. If this were real, prominent news websites would be covering it widely. Snopes even contacted the IRS, and they confirmed that this is a false rumor. Apparently, the IRS has warned about text message and email scams playing off the genuine economic impact payments from 2020 and 2021. This rumor might be a new scam in the making, so be cautious if you receive emails or messages claiming you're eligible for this $8,700 check. Always verify the source before providing any personal information. Now, let's talk about the chances of another stimulus check actually going out. According to a recent article from Mara, the existing child tax credit provides up to $2,000 per qualifying child for the 2023 tax year but there are no plans for additional federal stimulus checks at this time. Over 476 million payments totaling $814 billion were sent out during the pandemic, but no further federal stimulus checks are currently planned. The only real chance for another round of relief payments would be if we fall into another recession and inflation is back down to 2% or lower. But right now, inflation is still a concern and additional stimulus checks could potentially worsen it. However, even though we may not see relief payments at the federal level, some cities and states are still sending out stimulus checks. For example, the city of Pomona is rolling out a guaranteed income program. They're offering $500 a month to eligible families to help with living expenses. This program, called the Household Universal Grant Program, will select 250 people to receive $500 a month for 18 months. Applications start June 17, and the lottery to select recipients will be on July 10. The first payments are expected to go out on August 26. So, if you live in Pomona, make sure to apply. This could be life-changing money for many families. Let's talk about SNAP benefits of food stamps. Some crucial updates about SNAP benefits, yes, those food stamps, EBT, or whatever you call them. In just three months, there are some major changes coming that could affect millions of beneficiaries. Stick around because this is important news you need to know. Alright, before we get into the specifics, let me clarify one thing, SNAP benefits aren't disappearing altogether. However, there's a significant aspect of the program that's expiring soon and if it's not extended, it could spell trouble for many people. Back in December 2022, lawmakers passed legislation as part of the 2023 fiscal budget, which included a provision affecting SNAP benefits. This provision, which started on October 1, 2022, is set to expire on September 30, 2024 just around the corner. So, what exactly is this provision? It's a safety net for SNAP beneficiaries who have their benefits wrongly taken from them think stolen EBT cards or fraudulent transactions. The government has been reimbursing billions of dollars to victims of these crimes, but unless this provision is extended, this support will no longer be guaranteed after September 30. 
Imagine relying on your SNAP benefits to put food on the table, only to find out your card was skimmed or your information stolen. Without this provision, there's no safety net. It's a concerning situation that could affect many vulnerable families across the country. If you're a SNAP beneficiary or know someone who is, it's crucial to stay informed. Keep an eye on updates from lawmakers because this issue affects real people's lives. Let's hope they come through and extend this provision to protect those who need it most. And that's not all. Alongside this expiring provision, there are other changes on the horizon for SNAP benefits. From updating the outdated EBT card technology to adjusting age requirements for able-bodied adults without dependents, October 1, 2024, promises to bring a wave of changes to the program. So, mark your calendars and stay tuned. The beginning of the new fiscal year is approaching fast, and these changes could impact you or someone you know. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel for more updates on financial news, and hit that bell icon to get notified every time we post a new video. Until next time, take care and stay informed. Your financial future matters. Thanks for watching Financial Futures.